Christmas is a favorite time of year for many people. Shopping for loved ones, even for those people that uh, don't like shopping. Christmas shopping can be fun. Giving and receiving gifts. There are the Christmas parties with cookies and punch. Christmas decorations and special music. We get to see friends and family that we might not normally get to visit. Other holidays are single day events. But Christmas is a whole season unto itself. Christmas lasts for weeks. Many look back nostalgically at Christmases of the past. Some parts are more imagined than they are as they really happened. Nostalgic emotions are triggered by the sights and smells and sounds that are captured within our minds. Sometimes it's the sensation of awe and wonder, not only of the season, but that God loves us that much. Let's take a trip. Let's explore this Advent season using our senses. Remember the taste of Christmas, hot chocolate, Christmas cookies. Mm. Maybe it's the Christmas trees itself that you like. Packages under the tree, stockings hung by the chimney, nativity. Maybe you have a favorite nativity. What is it that stirs up your senses of Christmas? We're going to use some new and some very old characters to help us navigate the senses of Christmas this season. We're going to use Cindy Lou Who, Joseph, the father of Jesus, Zechariah, the father of John the Baptist, and Adam, the first human, first human of all creation. We're going to use the shepherds of the nativity story in Isaiah's words memorialized by George Frederick Handel's The Messiah. We're going to use Virginia, who asked the question, is Santa Claus real? Listen to this familiar story from Luke chapter 2, verses 1 through 7. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a, a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria. And everyone went to his own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in swaddling cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Have you ever wondered about that first Christmas night? Have you ever wondered what the infant Jesus' eyes saw or what his ears heard that night? Did he recognize particular angel voices as they sang of his birth? Let's open this gift of Christmas using our senses to experience the wonder and awesomeness of God's love for us. Let's use our senses nostalgically. Join us. <laughs> 